Guys, I'd say our first annual indoor fun day was a big success. It sure was. I'm glad the landlord sprayed all those chemicals on the lawn so we could go outside. Well, look at this. Angela even set up an arts and crafts table. I made friendship bracelets. See, the different threads represent, um, different colors of friendship. Angela, I don't ever exaggerate, but these are mind-blowing. Oh, well, do you want one? Do I? Ha! I mean, uh, I, you know, if you happen to have a, a next one, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Have matching friendship bracelets so everyone will know we're friends. But remember, you can't remove it. You have to let the bracelet fall off on its own. What happens if I take it off? I think technically that means we wouldn't be friends anymore. <gasps> no. Anyways, I've got to get home. Hey, do you think the lawn is safe yet? Hmm, maybe if you hold your breath. <gasps> okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> stop breathing, stop breathing. Ginger! Man, you weren't even trying to dodge me. Indoor Fun Day will now conclude with a traditional game of hide and seek. Okay. Last one to touch his nose is it! Mm. Yeah. Oh. Last one what? Tom's it! Everybody scatter! Hold on, I wasn't ready. Oh, all right. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Albuquerque. Hmm. Ben, always hiding by your work. Ah, oh, huh, all right. If I was Hank, where would I be? Well, these cushions look suspicious. Hank, I'm on to you. Hmm, so no one's decided to hide in the most obvious places. Well, I like a challenge. All right, guys, come out, come out wherever you are. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh, guys, time out, real quick, okay? I, I need some help here. Hey, I'm stuck. Oh, come on, Tom, I'm not gonna fall for the oldest trick in the book. I know this seems like the oldest trick in the book, but my arm is actually stuck in the couch. Do you really need help? Or when you said this wasn't a trick, was that a trick? No, it's not a trick. All right, I'm coming out to help, but this doesn't count as you finding me. Uh-oh. Did you say uh-oh? I'm stuck in the bathroom. Just like the last time I was stuck in the bathroom. Remember that? Hey, can you come in and get me? No, Hank. I'm stuck too, remember? Ben! 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 Where are you? Ben! Ha, no. This is the perfect place. Ben! Fine. No. Hey, that was you. Good hiding. Yes. Fortunately, you rarely give things a closer look. Well, maybe not so fortunately, because me and Hank are both stuck. Hank, where were you even planning on hiding in there? <sighs> this is really jammed. I don't know how you pull the doorknob off so easily. Hmm, some internal piece must have worn down. No worry, I'll just get a spare doorknob from Spare Doorknob Storage. Oh, there we go. A good old bathroom spare. Wait, don't let that door... Close. Uh-oh. Tom, why isn't there a handle on the inside of the storage room? I took it off. And why did you take it off? Because I trapped that thing in there that one time. What thing? Don't worry, it probably went away. Uh, but yeah, you can't open the storage from the inside. Why didn't you tell me that before I got locked inside here? Okay, well, nobody panic. Ginger's still hiding somewhere around here. He can help us. Ginger? Ginger? Ginger! Ginger! Sounds like Tom found everyone else, but they still can't find me. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So Ginger's not answering and struggling. <sighs> Just gets the friendship bracelet more stuck. Maybe Hank is having more luck than I am. Tom, my head is stuck in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe Ben is having more luck than I am. I call this new invention the emergency door opener 5000. Anyway, my troubles are about to be... Oh, 
You don't need to eat that pizza. You don't need to eat that pizza. <laughs> eat that pizza. Eat that pizza. Eat that pizza. 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 Eat that pizza. Whoa. Uh, Tom, what are you doing? Uh, just uh, 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 cleaning the table. I mean, it sure was messy. <laughs> Tables. <laughs> oh yeah, don't get me started on that. Man, Angela, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. You went home a while ago, so how are you back here? Oh, <gasps> Angela, you're floating. <laughs> yeah, do you like it? Oh, the chemicals on the lawn turned you into a ghost. Or a superhero. Wait, are you a ghost or a superhero? Oh, neither, actually. I'm a hallucination. Your brain created me to deal with the loneliness of being stuck. So, you're not the real Angela? If I were the real Angela, would I say this? My favorite things in the world are Tom, 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 singing and dancing, and Tom. In that order. Wow. You are a really cool hallucination. So, you're really stuck, huh? What? It's a friendship bracelet. All right, it's caught on a spring. And I don't know what to do, because on one hand, I don't want to be stuck here forever, but if I cut it, that means we aren't friends anymore. But how good a friend are you if you can't even answer my calls? Or help Ben and Hank? Not a very good friend. A friendship bracelet is just a bunch of string. If it keeps you from helping friends who need you, then you should cut it. Uh, wait, how do you know I'm making the right decision, huh? I mean, you're just a hallucination. I know, but I'm your hallucination. Oh, Hallucinangela, come back. His name is Ginger. Like an invisible ninja. Okay, my brain made up that hallucination, and my brain has never led me astray before. Right brain, right. Left brain, wrong. Or maybe I don't need to rush things. Maybe if I just wait long enough, the friendship bracelet will just come off on its own. Huh? Tom, help! My head is caught in the sink! I can't turn the water off! Oh, Hank! Why did you even turn the water on? I was thirsty! Sorry! The sink is filling faster than I can drink the water! Tom, get me out of here so we can get Hank out of there! All right, guys, hang in there! I'm on my way. <sighs> Carry the 10 to the 12th power, and this proves that this is 100% Tom's fault. What did you just say? Never mind! Take this and go free Hank! Yeah, right. I'm here, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Ooh. What were you thinking? Can I explain later? This water is going right through me. Uh, you're welcome. <sighs> Tom, why didn't you answer your phone? I called, I texted, I even sent you an email. Hmm? Oh. Okay, that explains it. You took off my friendship bracelet. Angela, I had to. We were playing hide and seek and the bracelet uh, it, it got uh, stuck on a spring in the couch. Then Hank got trapped in the bathroom. And I got trapped in the storage room. Don't worry, Tom. I knew something like this might happen, so I made an extra. Well, that's great. That's really... Oh, pink. Helping friends is way more important than a bunch of string. You made the right decision, Tom. I am not sure about that. What? Uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, hey, whatever happened to Ginger? Hmm. Huh? I guess the real problem with hide and seek is when you're as good at it as I am, the game can get pretty boring. <laughs> I'll give him another hour, or two. Angela, you should have seen me at the paper airplane throwing contest. My throw was perfect. My release, just right. Wow, so you won then? Woohoo! Well, I got eighth place. Still top ten, though. Oh, okay. There was a horrible headwind, but I will not bore you with the details. <gasps> is that what uh, I think it is? <laughs> My powers, they're gone. Ah, he's back! That's right, ladies. I'm back. <sighs> Who's back? Who? Tanner Von Quads! Oh, that's great. Nobody talks! Ah, do a triple spin double bicep flex! <laughs> <gasps> ah, 
That triple spend double bicep flex was for you. Thank you. Huh? Uh. Mac Thunder and his crew have gone way too far this time. This dance park belongs to us. Dance battle, dance battle, dance battle. Let's dance battle for this park. Woohoo! <sighs> Tanner Von Quads is back. Get down to the uprising. Uh. Coming soon to a theater near you. So sick. Oh, so near you. Finally, finally, finally! <sighs> And she's not a guy. I have friends who are girls, you know. Hello? Hey, it's me, Ruby. I know. Did you see it? The trailer? Yeah, the trailer. I mean, it was amazing. Unbelievable. Isn't Tanner Von Quads totally perfect? Oh, uh, like unbelievably, perfectly perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's stalk him. <gasps> I'm already on it. <sighs> I'm in love. It appears you have an expression of sadness on your face. How am I supposed to compete with Tanner Von Quads? Oh, that? Tom, relax. He's not even real. It's just a movie. Just a movie? Angela, I mean, girls love him. No one calls their friends when I walk into a room. Why don't you try to be the perfect guy? Just like Tanner. Thanks, Ginger. I wish there was a way to do that, but there isn't. Haven't you ever heard of Ideal Guy Headquarters? Ideal Guy Headquarters. It's an exclusive website with all the stuff you need to know to become a perfect guy. Ooh, did you hear that? Maybe there's somebody you ought to impress. This website could make me the perfect guy? Ah, the right sunglasses for any time of day. There are different kinds of glasses for different times of days? I didn't know this. 10 new push-ups you've never seen before. You know, sometimes I feel like they don't want us to know about all the push-ups. How to do everything better and faster. Okay, this is awesome. Pretty soon, Angela is gonna love you even more than she loves that tatter guy. What? Angela? Th that, that is not why I'm going to read this. Tom, we know that's why you're- Uh-uh, 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 that's not why. Hey, man. Oh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Welcome to Ideal Guy Headquarters. Begin your new life as an irresistible dude. Oh, you're gonna be way cooler than that tatter guy. <laughs> I will be cooler than Tanner. And my starter kit will be here tomorrow. <gasps> it's beautiful. I mean, whatever. Hmm. Spray. Ah. <coughs> what do you think? Is it working? <laughs> Tom, you put on a scarf, a bracelet, and cologne. How could that possibly change how people react to you? How about now, huh? Whoa. What is that smell? <laughs> it's so handsome. Mm. Hey, cool glasses. <laughs> I know. Well, Angela, you may be interested to know that it just so happens that... <gasps> huh. No way! Ruby just got us <clears throat> tickets to the premiere of Get Down to the Opera! Ooh la la, premiere is French for you get to see the movie before anyone else. I know because I used to live in French. You should sit in the front row so the movie hits your eyes first. Yes, Tanner Von Quads will be right in front of us on the big screen. Well, right, yeah, but it's not like he'll actually be there. Whereas right now, in front of you, there is a guy who... What? Tanner will be uh. there? And he's signing all the grass! Oh, come on. I mean, totally cool. Totally cool. <sighs> the starter kit was a good start, but it's not enough. I'll have to get another kit or do something. Or else you think you'll lose Angela forever. No, that is not what I said. This is not why I'm doing this. <laughs> Hank, log on to Ideal Guy headquarters. It's time to get perfecter. The perfect guy works out every day. And drinks giant protein shakes when he's done. 
He should never ever be without his signature shades. A perfect guy is like a shapeshifter. When necessary, he can assume the perfect body. Totally. And of course, every perfect guy has an arsenal of dance moves, ready for use at any moment. So hot. You guys want anything else? Or what? I mean, is there anything else I could get you? I mean, anything else at all? Everything's perfect. Rhonda. <laughs> Gee, Tays. I mean, I don't usually say things like this, but, um, you smell real good. I smell ideal. <laughs> you know what? Dessert's on me today. Did you see that? Free dessert. I mean, if this works on Rhonda, this will work on anyone. Definitely. I'll be at that premiere tomorrow. And I'll show Tanner Von Quads that he is no longer the most perfect guy around. I am. I see him! Oh, me too, me too. He is glowing with handsomeness. I think we just made eye contact! No way! Are you guys like in love now? Yeah, I think so! What's up, man? You might not know me, but I know you. Oh, hey, man. Nice shaped. TVQ. Stay beautiful. I'll do the same. Hey, man. You've been the most perfect guy around for a long time. But I have news for you. There's a new ladies' man in town, and you are looking at him because he's talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about me, but I'm talking to you. Listen, I'm just doing my thing, man. Oh, yeah? Well, now I'm doing my thing. Hank, the music. Where's the music? Hank. TVQ 5000? Tanner Von Quads was a robot? Whoa, plot twist. I'm confused and heartbroken. I'm just confused. He's broken. Broken forever. Robos. Hey, that's the guy that broke Tanner Von Quads. Get him! What? I didn't know. We're being chased by an angry mob. The perfect guy always uses the helmet. Thanks. You sure were fast, but those girls were faster. Then they caught you and started punching you and kicking you. Anyway, you were there. <laughs> Sounds like you are perfect out there. Well, I'm sorry I ruined your night and broke someone that you loved very much. Tom, I didn't really love Tanner Von Quads. I love the characters he played in his movies. The handsome, chiseled, manly, and me. <laughs> well, at least now we know that no real person could actually be as perfect as Tanner Von Quads. I wish I knew that before I bought all these sunglasses. Why don't you donate them to this charity for economically challenged cool guys? Charity is good, and Tom, I do think you're perfect. <gasps> the most perfect friend in the world! <sighs> Side hug, come here, buddy. In case you didn't know, I am a singer. It's kind of my thing! So I decided to teach my friends to write songs of their own. You uh, knew I was a singer, right? Now remember, students, to let the emotion come from your heart. That's the best place for emotion to come from. I've composed a few verses in tetramic pentameter about the joy of patterns. <laughs> well, if that's the music in your heart, then it's right. 
Probably. I imagined what it would sound like if the award-winning cop drama Bongo and McGillicuddy had a theme song with lyrics. Bongo, Bongo, and McGillicuddy, McGillicuddy, <laughs> Bongo, and McGillicuddy. Two cops on the beat, take it into the street, go it straight to the top, when it beats cop. I like it, Hank. Tom, your paper is blank. Are you writing a song with no lyrics? It's kind of looking like it. I just have no idea what to say. I do I have to make things rhyme? Oh, I do it all the time. See what I did right there? So, yes? Oh, writing a song isn't just about rhyming. It's about finding something important to you and expressing it with your voice. Right. What's something or someone that you think about every day? Yeah. Something or somebody that makes you happy. Uh -huh. You know, just lights up a room. Okay. And you want to say how you feel. Yeah. But you've never been able to figure out how. Until now. I love and Bongo! Bongo! And Magilla Cuddy. Yeah, baby, now you're getting it. I listened to what Angela said, and I wrote a song about something I really care about. And that something is Angela. I think the song is actually pretty good. Only problem is, I'm pretty sure I could never show it to her. Ever. Well, it's catchy. She'd like that. But is it weird? Because she would not like that. But is it more catchy than weird? Hmm. Who are you ah! talking to? Did Ben make uh, an invisibility machine? Uh, if he uh, did, I get to go in it first. Ginger, leave me alone. I'm in the middle of a crisis. Me too! My parents got me the most awesome and coolest present. You want to see what it is? No. A magic kit! What? Created by hmm. famous TV magician Illusion Jack. The guy who says, Illusion. Did I just hear the word illusion? Or was that an illusion? I'll tell you what's going on! My show! For my first trick, I need a piece of paper. Ah! What? No! No, 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 no! Uh, uh, don't use that. <laughs> Why? Is it something embarrassing? No, it's just a list of boring things. You know what? You could use it. I don't even care. Use it for your tricks. It, uh, it's not embarrassing. Look! An ordinary boring piece of paper that doesn't really matter to anyone! Now I will make it. Oh, ah! Disappear! Nice one! So, uh, it's just a neat trick. Um, but, uh, where did it go? Just out of curiosity? Maybe you should try asking your butt! Huh? What? Ah! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Having these song lyrics around is dangerous. I have to destroy them. No one can ever see what I wrote. Hey, Tom, what are you doing? Oh, oh, nothing. What are you doing? That's what we really should be asking here. <laughs> well, Angela's helping me craft the songs I wrote into a musical comedy extravaganza. My big idea is that you add a lot of lasers. Ooh, and a fog machine. I'll go rig up the garage. Tom, I'm sorry I couldn't inspire you to write a song. Oh, you were great. I guess I just don't get music. Oh, well. Well, music is really important to me. If you don't get music... <sighs> That's sad. Actually, you know what? Forget what I just said, because I did write a song. Now, I was trying to get it right before I showed you, but who cares about getting it right? <laughs> Maybe read it to yourself. And if you don't like it, just never tell me. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is just a receipt for an Illusion Jack magic kit. What? How is that? <gasps> Ginger! Huh? Whoa. Okay. Five bucks off some magic rings! Yeah, that was good. Ginger, what did you do with my paper? I can't tell you. The kit says a magician never reveals his secrets. I can make it worth your while. All right, Hank has a secret stash of candy corn left over from Halloween. Sorry, the magician's code says no. Besides, if I want candy, I can just presto digitate it with my sleight of hand. Rats, did you ah! just offer to give away my secret candy corn? Uh, no. I mean, yes. Ginger took the lyrics to the song I was writing and won't give them back. You didn't even back them up digitally? I have to get it back. Ginger cannot see what I wrote. Wow, he really got you with that prop swap, didn't he? I know, he took... Wait, what is a prop swap? You know, how he put the fake paper under your butt before the trick even started. What? 
I was the two-time winner of the teen regional magic meet, but I swore to never talk about that part of my life. <sighs> okay, I'll talk about it. I was the great illusion Hank, and I was ready to take over the local TV magic scene. I had the world up my sleeve until my apprentice Jack stole my act. Wait, you mean illusion Jack? Of course I mean illusion Jack, but there's no point dwelling on it. We can't change the past. If that guy stole your act, then you know all of his tricks. So you can teach me all the magic Ginger just learned, and I can magic my song right back to me. I don't know, Tom. My last apprentice became an international superstar and forced me out of the world of magic that I loved so much. Yeah, but Hank, this time it's Tom. You're right. <gasps> Whoa. I'll do it. Yeah. Nope, I stink at magic. I'm never gonna get my song back. Step out of it, apprentice! There's one more thing you could try. Here, read this. It's the directions that come with the magic kit. In it, you will find the secrets you need. Huh. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. It all makes sense now. Hello, Tom. You wanted to meet with me about a certain prop? I swapped. We'll do a trade. You put the paper under one bowl, I put the candy under the other. Then we switch. Ooh, like a magic trick. I like it. Ah! Ha! Huh? Pan wins again! Thanks for the candy, Saka! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Illusion! You didn't tell me you could do magic! That's cheating, Tom! Well, I thought that you said that a magician never reveals his secrets. You're twisting my words around! Press up! Oh. What's so special about this note anyway? It must be really embarrassing. <laughs> Bye. Uh, freeze on place though. Hey, how are you doing that? Hand it over and admit you've been beat by a superior magician. Uh, uh, okay, time out. You never told me you could do real magic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on, Ginger. Of course I can't. But I can do real technology. A technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. God, no fair! You see, at first, I tried to do better magic than you. But then Hank showed me the last piece of advice in the kit's magic book. And it reads, <clears throat> if I may, all the best magicians have an assistant. Uh -huh. Am I Tom's assistant? <laughs> of course not. But I needed to test the lasers out for my big math musical, so why not? How do you think those lasers look, Angela? Angela? <laughs> Pretty futuristic. Hey, Tom, is that the song you're working on? Let me see. Wait, uh, maybe you shouldn't read that in front of everyone. Why? The best part of doing music is having everyone look at you. Ooh. Oh, Tom, this is nice. You wrote a song about your friends. I know it's a little surprising, but I, wait, what? You think it's about my friends? Sure, I like how you say, you're my friend. When we're together, you make me smile. Like friends that are together. I mean, you did rhyme together with together, but it's a good first try. From reading this, I really sense how you and Ben are good buddies. Yeah, sure. I guess that's what the song is about then. Ben? Why didn't you tell me that? I would have given it back. But I thought, well, I tried to. Tom, I am really touched. No one has ever written a song about me. Come here, buddy. Let me apply a friendly hug to you. Aww. Uh, no, that's okay. It's really, it's not necessary. I think it's fine. I don't want this any more <laughs> than you do. But you've earned it, buddy. Uh, Friend hug. Uh, Freeze on, please hold. Man, I am excited. Angela's show is going to be the greatest musical event since the first caveman banged two rocks together. That's even greater than when a different caveman invented the bowed flute. Way greater. Ooh, 
Did you bring the Angela concert t-shirts? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Hank, the design, it's gone. I know, weird, right? Did you know that when you're washing shirts, you don't have to use the entire bottle of bleach? I do, now. How can these be Angela concert t-shirts if they don't even have Angela on them? <laughs> Whatever, at least we can still sell the glow sticks. Glow sticks? Oh, you mean the candy tubes. Oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming out. This first song is about a cool party I heard about. Anyways, this is one of my favorites. One, two, three. Yesterday, but my invitation says today. Excuse me. Singer? I'm sorry, but could you keep it down? My baby is trying to sleep. Okay, but I mean, if you wanted it to be quiet, then why did you come to a concert? Oh, so you think because we've got babies, we're supposed to stay cooped up in the house all day? No, 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 no. I just mean, since I'm all set up, don't you want me to rock this street? Ugh, quietly, maybe. Ugh. Angela, rock on, no rules. Party, music, huh. Tom! Uh, hey, that was a quiet show, but I really liked what I was able to hear. Uh, why do I even do gigs like this? They do nothing for my career. Good question, Angela. Angela, why do you do gigs like this? It's this stupid manager app Ben made me. It's worthless. Hey, Angela. You really rocked it today at the ap ap Afternoon Street Show. Mm. Last week, I sang on a garbage boat for a bunch of birds. I think this app just picks random spots and tells me their concerts. <sighs> well, did you at least sell some t-shirts? Yeah, the shirts. Um, I had a little laundry malfunction, but my cool sketch saved the day, I think. Ah, uh, that doesn't even look like me. Of course not. It's you if you were a hot dog. Ah. No. I am not a hot dog, and I don't surf, I sing! <gasps> Five photos of out of control Angela flipping out. Have you seen this? Uh-oh. Out of control? Do I seem out of control to you? Well, do I? Pfft, no. Well, not to me. No. Well, maybe just a little. Ow! It is so not fair. I flipped one table and now my music career is over? Your career's not over. People who appreciate talent like me will come watch you rock every street in the neighborhood. And I'll watch you on every garbage boat in the sea. Aw, thanks, you guys. <sighs> who even took these pictures? Yeehaw! Ride up, cowboy! I did. Those are nothing. I saved the really crazy pics for the bigger websites. What? Ginger, why would you do this to me? Uh, I think what you mean is, why did I do this for you? Oh, what's this now? Angela's number 20 on ClickFeed's hot new celebrity list. Wow. Cool. Read the comments. Wow, these are all good. Listen to this one. Angela is my idol. Here's a link to one of her songs. I know what I'm doing. And as your new manager, huh? I have a plan to get you to the top of the hot new celebrity list. You can't be my manager. You're seven. Plus, Angela already has a manager. Oh, you mean this thing? Wait, don't delete me. Wait. Oops. Congratulations, Ooh. Ginger. Oh, yeah. You've just become my yeah. image consultant. Hi, everyone. I'm Brenda Blake with the ClickFeed Hot New Celebrity List. Hot New Celebrity Angela flipped out again, this time at a charity poker event. Turning the tables on these crooked card counters takes Angela up to number 15 on our hot new celebrity hot new list. I don't know why you even want to be on that list. It doesn't have anything to do with talent. It's just about drawing attention to yourself. But the higher my name goes on that list, the bigger my fan base, and the more people who could possibly learn about my singing talent. The people who make that list don't care about singing talent. Oh, they will. After we take it to the next level. Huh? Ooh, what's the next level? A boyfriend! A boyfriend? Yeah, you know, on again, off again, dates, kissing in public. 
These shows love drama. A boyfriend has nothing to do with being a singer. Do you see what happens when you listen to Ginger? And that boyfriend should be played by Tom. He comes up with some pretty great ideas. I will do it. Ah, thank you so much for coming on this fake date with me, Tom. You're welcome. And uh, and and we don't need to to keep calling it a, a fake date. Right. Let's make this look real. I like real. Tom. Yes, Angela. I know things have been crazy lately with my singing career. What singing career? You haven't been up on stage since you ripped up all those T-shirts. This isn't how I normally act, and Ginger isn't someone I'd normally listen to. But hey, it's working. If getting famous is your only goal, then sure, I, I guess Ginger's plan is working. I just think you're talented enough to get famous for your music. Oh, thanks, Tom. So, uh, do you think we can pull off a believable fake kiss? <gasps> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Ginger, what are you doing? I got enough dating shots, so I raced over here to save you from kissing. <laughs> but these happy couple pics are useless without a loud breakup. Mm -hmm. Tom, just follow my lead. Huh? I'm sorry, Tom. Do you mind playing along? And action! Tom, this isn't working out. I think we should end it. Whoa. That's a little too real. Why? Says the boyfriend. Because you're selfish and immature. Selfish and immature? Me? Good. No. The selfish and immature boyfriend huh? throws food. Wait, stop. Hey, quit throwing crab legs at me. Now, let's bring in the waiter. That's me. <clears throat> Hello, I'm a waiter, and throwing food is not allowed. You, hashtag Angela, and you, hashtag boyfriend, are kicked out. Now I will tell everyone on social media about this dramatic breakup. And cut! I can make that work. Huh? You got this, Tom? Uh, well, I, uh, Thanks. see ya. Oh, thank you, Tom. <sighs> Thanks to this video of her breakup with her crabby, unattractive boyfriend, Angela has clawed her way to number one on today's hot new celebrity list. You can catch Angela in her Getting Over My Breakup concert, which will stream live later today. Another celebrity who thinks she can sing. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Angela. Your big talent is flipping tables. So I think I'll be one of the many ClickFeed fans I'm missing this show. <laughs> You're a celebrity now. You don't need talent. Isn't that why we're doing this? No. <sighs> uh, forget it. Uh. We go live in 10 minutes. What's her problem? So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. This live feed will be my biggest audience ever, but most of them don't even want to hear me sing. Well, your real fans can't wait to hear you sing. And if someone is only watching because some lame celebrity gossip show put you on their list, their opinion isn't that important. Am I interrupting anything? No? Good. I have an idea. I don't want to hear it. Mm. Great. So a lot of your fans from ClickFeed are going to be tuning in. So it's really important that you give them what they want. And what do they want? Well, they don't want you to sing. Uh -huh. Look, you can sing if you want. But I just think it's better to flip out and start wrecking the stage. That's what this audience wants from you. Bye! And we're live streaming. Well, Angela, decision time. Be an out-of-control celebrity, be a great singer, combine the two, do whatever you think is best for you. Welcome to the live streaming event you've been waiting for. This is Angela. <sighs> One, two, three, four! What? I felt completely off the hot new celebrity list? Yes, but don't panic. We can bounce back. We'll get you thrown off a bus or something. Just don't sing for a while. No, Ginger. From now on, I'm going to focus on the music. No more fake boyfriends, no more stupid lists, and no more Ginger. You fired! Yeah, I fired you first. You never fired me! Bye! Da -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. I still don't get it. I thought I sounded okay. Okay? That was the greatest musical performance since the first cavemen banged two rocks together. Uh, thanks for your support, Tom. You're the best. 
So now that your career's back on track, I've been thinking about how we almost, you know, kissed at the diner. Oh, the fake date. Awkward, right? Uh, yeah. Tom, is Angela your girlfriend? Can it, Hank? <sighs> Tom and Angela sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Stop it, Ginger. Whoa! 